So here I am for part six now, I think. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Uh, we're gonna wanna go here. You've done this before. I admit nothing. Iraq would absolutely hate Marcus. He would hate Marcus. Fucking leprechaun can suck my lucky charm. These fucks are stoked. Yo, it's a weasel, man. My hands is colder than the other one. Like, dramatically colder. Hey, ah, oh, what is that? Come around back and find out. Soldier, let's bring in the boys. Ah, oh, Jesus. I thought you meant the explosives. Said I was bringing girls. What about that, too? No, I need some help. I was hoping you could involve these guys in a gangland shooting of some sort. I got a few loose ends I need to tie up, and you know, you do owe me those favors. I don't owe you anything. Give me the explosive, something I can carry. Fine. These two nutsacks are some unfinished business from a Gabonese job. You should have seen the way that they tried to take me out. I am driving this beast of a muscle car right out of the 70s. You know when an automobile accident was still called a fucking car crash? Go. <clears throat> so, these geniuses here think they're gonna ram me off the road with some plastic, eco-friendly shit bug. It just makes this weird ping bounces off into a park van. Here, hold that. Be great. <clears throat> Thanks. This is what I had for you. It's a, uh, sticky. They're all fucked up. I don't know whether to laugh at them or scream at them. Finally, I just pulled out my 45 and slammed a couple of rounds into their fat faces. So that's what I have. Deal with all this for me. No way. We can just do that. Do that. Yeah, it's like a like a practice round. What do you think, fellas? Practice round? Jordan. I don't need a practice round. No, just let me get a little clearer. Jordy! Friends can't come to the phone right now. They're dead. The fuck? Hey, who's still standing? Anybody? Come on, man. Come on. He's getting away. A report to Iraq. Bedbugs as good as dead. I'm gonna have to chase him on a motorcycle, which is probably the least safe thing you could possibly do in this game.
All right, let's keep going here. Got to tail this. Ow. Yes, I know, Aiden, get up. Sending the guest list from the case. Whatever this auction is, the club's not taking chances. Security will be tight. Okay, so we'll find you a suitable identity. Not a regular. Someone from out of the country. A guy they won't recognize. Okay. Okay. This one. Can you pull off a Mr. Pang? I don't think so. Any you Nicholas Crispin. 32 years old. Expat American. Hasn't been back in 12 years. That's the one. Oh my god. They list his preferences. This man is sick. And filthy rich, too. Will anyone miss him? What do you mean, miss him? Clara, if I'm stealing his identity, I can't have him around blowing my cover. I can't keep him alive. Oh. No, I guess not. My sister's missing, Clara. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her. Listen, if this is too much for you, I'll understand. No, I'm fine. Nobody's going to miss this dog. This is a good match. He's supposed to pick up his car at the dealership. All right. I'll meet him there. Flash. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Now, there's some uh, sketchy stuff that goes down in this next one, so, uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do right now, but I'll figure it out when I start editing. So I got through a section, and basically, to summarize it, because it's not plot important, there's uh, someone that this Crispin guy was being given named Poppy. And what Aiden's going to do is he's going to get her to show up at the auction so that he can set her free later. We hope you'll come back again. So this is where I'm going to stop for now. Um, 
So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.